What is up everyone, it's your boy Gil here, and I am super excited for this weekend's Tekken 8 closed beta test. I am excited for a lot of reasons, but primarily because this is the very first time that Feng Wei will be available to play in any version of Tekken 8. And that's why I thought it would be fun to chronicle Feng's stance changes over the various versions of him, starting in Tekken 5 released in 2005, and Tekken 8 to be released in 2024. You might be surprised with how they have fleshed him out over the almost two decades of him existing. Now let's have a closer look at how Tekken Project has evolved his infamous Kempo stance and Shifting Cloud stance over the years. Enjoy! With Tekken 5 being Feng's birthing grounds, his stances are at their most underdeveloped here. Here Kempo and Shifting Clouds are very similar. You enter Kempo by pressing back 3 plus 4 and shifting clouds with 4 3 plus 4. Both stances have the same exact moves that come out of them. There's stance 1, a chunky mid punch. There's stance 2, a high launching back fist. Then there's 3, which most people call the scorpion kick, a personal all-timer Tekken animation in my opinion. This one is also a high and gives a nosebleed stun on hit. Last but not least, there is Stance 4, a big high kick that sends opponents skywards. Then here are just a few more details. In Tekken 5, you can't press back or forward after your initial stance choice to seamlessly transition to the other stance. Speaking of transitions, Feng's down back one in future games lets you go to Kempo or Shifting Clouds by holding back or forward, and that transition just isn't possible yet in Tekken 5. Kempo also does not go as far back as you might be used to in Tekken 7. And last but not least, Shifting Clouds already parries high and mid attacks. The automatic attack follow-up only happens after parrying two consecutive attacks. This will be the parry rule going forward for Shifting Clouds. The jump from Tekken 5 to Tekken 6 was huge in regards to Feng's Kempo and Shifting Clouds. Here, they more than double the amount of moves that came out of his two unique stances. In Tekken 6, Kempo has 4 moves total, and Shifting Clouds has 5 moves in total, and none of these moves overlap. Kempo also gained a sizable increase in distance traveled away from the opponent. If you're a Tekken 7 player, you'll recognize most of the moves here. Kempo 1 is a chunky, high crushing low with a lot of range. Tekken 6 also gave us our lord and savior, Kempo 2 the high palm to the nose that then gives a guaranteed shoulder. Kempo 3 became a hop kick instead of the janky high kick from Tekken 5. Then there's Kempo 4 for the partying Feng, where he throws his whole Feng Usi at his opponent, and then it gives him the option to get up off the ground with a double get up kick. Shifting Clouds got some exciting things too. Shifting Clouds 1 is a big mid punch to the stomach that lets you combo off of it. Shifting Clouds 2 is also a mid-launcher, but the combo off of it is a bit more awkward, but it's slightly better on block. The only surviving stance move from Tekken 5 is his Shifting Clouds 3, the awesome Scorpion Kick. This time Scorpion Kick knocks them to the ground on normal hit. Shifting Clouds 4 is a mean low where Feng stomps on his opponent's ankles, and on counter hit it knocks them into the ground too. The fifth and final move out of Shifting Clouds is his Shifting Clouds 1 plus 2, 1, 2 string. It's a hit confirmable mid high high punch string that can be tricky for the opponent to deal with because he has a lot of timing options to play with. Tekken 6 also made his stances more fluid by allowing down back 1 to transition into either stance and Kempo and Shifting Clouds can transition from one to the other stance now by just holding back or forward. <laughs> For Tag 2, they kept things pretty static. All the Tekken 6 moves are still here, and the main changes are subtle ones like damage increases or decreases and frame data changes. Tekken 7 had a near identical Kempo and Shifting Clouds compared to Tag 2, outside of changing some values around. Still, with many years of balance changes, in its current late Season 4 state, Kempo 2 doesn't give Fang a guaranteed shoulder anymore. And historically, Kempo 3, the hop kick has never been launch punishable, 
but now it is minus 16 on block. On to Tekken 8, where things get juicy once again. Tekken 8 shakes his stances up again by quite a lot. With entirely new moves, some move deletions, and the built-in shifting cloud parry has changed big time. Let's start with Kempo, which has stayed mostly the same. Kempo 1 still has that long-range low with a chunky counter hit effect. Kempo 2 unfortunately hasn't been reverted to give a guaranteed shoulder afterwards. But in Tekken 8, they made it one of his heat engagers. Sometimes this will give Feng major frame advantage, or if he was already in heat state, Kempo 2 can become a launcher too. Then there's Kempo 3, which is still the hop kick, but this time it sends the opponent into a tornado on hit, which is Tekken 8's combo extender. Kempo 4 1 plus 2 is the juicy addition to the stance. This is a hell sweep with very good range. Since Feng steps backwards with Kempo, it can be hard to use as a mix-up, but if he transitions into Kempo from Shifting Clouds first, Feng will remain close to the opponent. Of course, this strategy only works if they're really conditioned to not press anything. Feng's old Leaping Lion, where he throws his Feng Ossi at you, still exists, but this time it's not attached to the 4 button, but instead it's bound to 3 plus 4. Shifting Clouds got a really large rework, which will likely make it more relevant to Feng's game plan than ever before. Shifting Clouds 1 still is the powerful blow to the stomach and it still launches, only this time it's armored. Shifting Clouds 2 is a really neat new option. This is a high back fist, kind of reminiscent in animation to his back fist from Tekken 5. It's a fast high, causes a sit your ass down stun when a counter hit, same as the counter hit down forward 1 animation. There's also some space for creativity where you can recover into back turn by holding back. Shifting Clouds 3 is my favorite new move out of all of his new moves. It's a large homing high kick that automatically transitions him into back turn. It knocks down on hit for some guaranteed damage and is still plus when blocked. And the animation is really sick. The ankle stomp returns with his Shifting Clouds 4. Compared to its last outing in Tekken 7, it's pretty substantially buffed. It's better on block and hit. On counter hit, it doesn't knock them into the ground anymore. Instead, it gives Feng a guaranteed shoulder. With shoulder being a heat engager in Tekken 8, this can be very powerful. Shifting Clouds 1 plus 2 used to be the beginning of Feng's multi-hitting punch string out of stance, which now has been replaced with an impressive downwards elbow strike that's safe on block and gives a guaranteed stomp after hit. And last but not least, the Mad Lads of Bandai Namco buffed the Shifting Clouds parry by turning it into a full-on launcher if the attack triggers. Feng still needs to absorb two rapid attacks, but instead of retaliating with a 20-something damage mid, it can now really delete health bars. And that's where we are currently at with Feng Wei. A lot of things have changed since his initial introduction, and perhaps Kenpo and Shifting Clouds will change even more come the release date of Tekken 8. I hope you enjoyed watching our angry dragon guy grow up over the years. What changes are you most happy about that they made to him? Or is there a specific move you loved that now doesn't exist anymore? Let me know your strong opinions down below. Once again, thank you so much for watching today, and subscribe to the channel in order to get a luck buff for the next time you order fast food. My name has been Gil, and have a good one. Yeah.